Oh, I know where he is. Oh, Hi. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Look at this. Oh my God. Look Do at you like you. my jacket? I love it. <laughs> I tried something new. Oh my god, it's fabulous. So cute. Okay, so we're on our way to the Ada Museum right now. But look at this station. Those stairs have crabs and swans on them. And like as the subway continues, you can see the skyline of Tokyo. It's just so beautiful. And the bathroom and the station. And outside of the stalls, you have this. And it says thank you for choosing, like thank you for choosing something. A lady was trying to explain it to us. First sumo, second sumo, third sumo, fourth sumo wrestler. Oh my god. Okay, I'm taking this vlog just so that you can see the school girl. This is so it's like a culture. They have just uniform school, private school, private school vibes. I know, I know, but like for us. Thank you. Thank you. What am I invite to things rather than where they have the wall around the main thing? Oh my God! Unbelievable. <laughs> Fifty-seven pounds. <laughs> my God. This is a full-scale replica of one of the floats used for a festival. It was near the, the plate. Was... Fishermen going under the bridge from the town. So this is Kabuki Theater and it's reenacting a scene and it's supposed to show the late Edo period. So Kabuki Theater is only with men and so the men had to dress up like girls. And so you see you like bring, these characters like and they look like girls, but it's actually a guy. <laughs> oh! <laughs> what you have in your right room. now I'm kneeling <laughs> on a pillow yeah. around the table. Ah! Uh, <laughs> yes, Okay, if I get down here for a picture, will someone help me get back up? Oh, wow, this is how her house used to look like. Yes. So this is where the seal, like, the ceiling oh, is. Oh, Grandma! Okay, so here we have a kitchen. I remember this refrigerator. Really? Yeah. Uh, oh my God. I, we put it in the ice, big ice cube here. My grandmother had one of these, mm. but by the time I was born, mm -hmm. we had a... Mm -hmm. My mother asked me help cleaning my house. So I had a dust, dust up. Oh! <laughs> Literally, I love looking at old cars because I feel like they're just so beautiful. Classic. Okay, so now we're on our way to lunch. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. What is it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you think for a second, wow. Oh, so the power you the crazy. Sorry. It's beautiful. Would you like to eat it now? When you want it. Well, we could have one, six, three pieces. We'll eat now. And then watch this one. He cuts it. It's unbelievable. I didn't realize it was so big. Look at that. Is that gorgeous? This is where Yuko shops. Yeah. Oh, yum. We are here with Yuko shops, and you have like, these cakes. They're so beautiful. Um, we're going to be eating dinner with all of Yuko's family and right now we're resting before that. So I just wanted to talk to you guys before it all happens. So I've only been here in Japan for about like three days and already I feel that I've gone through experiences that have really shaped me as a person and I know that sounds kind of crazy but literally traveling and putting yourself in a different environment can change you in about like 30 seconds as long as you meet new people and go through things that you've never gone through before like literally anything can shape you obviously 
Tokyo is very different than any other city I've ever been to. I've been to like Florence and Paris and Istanbul and London and it's actually in this city that I feel I felt the most comfortable, the most at peace and I think it's because the people here are so respectful and so kind also very reserved it's almost like the place where I have felt the the least amount of culture shock because of the respectfulness but in that way it's also like changed my perspective of the world because I always thought like new place new people new like they act a different way but what I'm learning is about like when all the places that I go to, and especially Japan, I'm learning that like people are people. All these preconceived notions, all these stereotypes of the different cultures aren't, they're just, they're like made up entities. Like people love, people cry, people are sad, like in all these different places, yes, they have different culture, like different expectations, different, and different cultures. They still, are nice they still have friends they still have family they still laugh and it's made me realize how even though the world is so separated at times and so different we are able to connect anywhere you go you're able to connect to people because at the end of the day you're a human they're a human you have the same emotions that they have and you can learn so much from people based on their experiences like i can have a very similar personality to someone but we might have very drastically different stories and experiences that shaped each of us but at the end of the day if we were to talk about it we could find similarities in our personalities and i think i've learned that it's so important to be kind to everyone and respect everyone no matter their race no matter where they come from because at the end of the day we're all just humans we're all have blood running through our bodies we just have different experiences but i just wanted to update you because i think it is very important